Sonny Bono defied incredible odds to become a famous pop star, television personality, and congressman. His death was equally impactful, leading to a lawsuit over 20 years in the making. Here's what happened to Sonny Bono's estate. In the late 1980s, Bono entered a new chapter of his life as the Republican mayor and later congressional representative of Palm Springs, California. He found his true passion in working to restore the glitz and glamour of the city through projects like the Palm Springs International Film Festival, alongside his fourth wife, Mary Whitaker Bono. Unfortunately, Sonny Bono's beloved new chapter in politics would swiftly come to an end. On January 5, 1998, while skiing on vacation with Mary and their two children, Bono crashed into a tree and died of his resulting injuries. He was only 52 years old. The suddenness of his death left Sonny Bono's extended family both in a state of shock and in a legal maze. The congressman, with a net worth around $2 million, also died without writing a will. Aside from his widow, Mary Whitaker, and their two children, Bono had a child from his marriage with Cher, Chaz Bono, and another from his first marriage, a daughter named Christy Bono Fasci. While Bono's estate would ultimately be divided amongst Whitaker, Chaz, and Christy, the decision was complicated by a shockingly extensive legal battle with Cher, which started when Whitaker filed a petition to become the executor of her husband's estate. When the celebrity couple divorced, Bono was ordered to pay Cher $25,000 per month for six months, along with $1,500 per month in child support and $41,000 in lawyer fees. Cher claimed that her ex-husband did not pay any of the fees, a sour turn for their good combination. Excuse me, I've had some experience in marital discord myself. <laughs> Bono's former spouses battled in court for years and didn't stop even when Mary Bono was officially named the executor of her husband's estate. However, Cher didn't just fight Bono's widow over child support, she also fought to get her music royalties. According to The Guardian, Cher sued Mary Bono again in 2021, claiming that the estate had denied her half of the royalties agreed upon by Sonny and Cher in their divorce. According to the complaint by Cher's lawyer, the Bono Collection Trust claimed that under the Copyright Act, their 2016 cancellation of rights to music publishers also rescinded the royalties due to Cher. This meant that Cher no longer had any approval rights for the use of their songs, according to the lawsuit. As of this video's production, Cher is seeking $1 million in the lawsuit, which she claims is the royalty amount that has been withheld from her. Mary Bono, however, claimed in her dismissal motion that Sonny Bono's heirs have the right to terminate the publishing agreements. As of now, the legal decision is still pending. But a 20-year lawsuit is far from the only unexpected twist related to Bono's estate. Shortly after his death, the legal battle briefly turned into an episode of The Maury Show, when a man named Sean Machu made his own claim, asserting that he was the illegitimate child of Sonny Bono. In Machu's defense, Bono admitted to an affair with Machu's mother in his autobiography, and the beat goes on. And Machu's own birth certificate verifies Bono as his father. According to AP News, Machu withdrew his claim in August 1999 following a private DNA test. While the test was not made public, Mary Bono said she would not contest the claim if he was Bono's actual child. There you have it. Just as wide-ranging in death as in his life, Bono's estate ended up with one child from his first marriage, one from his second, and his fourth wife. Whether or not Cher will ever see the fees agreed upon in their divorce settlement remains to be seen. After all, a cowboy's work is never done. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more grunge videos about your favorite celebrities are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.